SimStructure was a physics uh, simulator that simulated spaceships and rockets and uh, boats and balloons and airplanes. Um, I, I wrote it for Windows. Um, I took the uh, the physics engine I wrote for SimStructure and I um, built it as a library in uh, Temple OS. It's a uh, um, it's a Runcata Adaptive Step Size 4-5 algorithm from uh, Numeric Recipes in C. Um, what it is basically, uh, Runcata is a better big O than uh, Euler, which is the naive, um, that's what everybody who's an amateur uses. So it's a better big O, and it's a fourth order and fifth order adaptive step size. So the fifth order is uh, considered perfect, and then it looks at fourth order and it decides how much how much error there is. Um, if there's a error, it slows down and takes smaller steps. Um, shut up, bird. Shut up. Anyway, um, so if it it slows down and takes smaller steps, so that's why it's adaptive step size. And it um, it has a state vector, which is an array. And uh, I have uh, since uh, f equals m a, the fundamental law of physics is uh, second order for each uh, um, part of for each mass. There's a, there's a two two dimensions or three dimensions, and uh, there's two two values for. Uh, um, because it's second order, f equals ma. Um, so, uh, uh, so you have six. Um, if it's three dimensions, you have six. You have six array um, spots take, taken for each mass. I'm gonna kill that bird. Stop it. So, uh, um, if, if you have you have six, it's a. Uh, you change it to first order um, equations with vector math. Um, so anyway, um, you have to supply a derivative. Uh, it calls your derivative callback. So um, some of the some of the uh, uh, let me let me go ahead and start with uh, this is not on the distribution, but you can get it off my website. It's called Rocks. Um, this is, uh, you'll notice uh, you have angular momentum. It's like asteroids, but with angular momentum. Um, you can see I'm slowing down. I'm thrusting. It's a lot. Anyway, um, so that has gravity. That's it's a ridiculous game. It's not very, you can't really play it. So Excalibur is the uh, same thing, basically. But... Uh, um, this has an anti-spin control system. Um, I added I added uh, air resistance, otherwise it would spin crazy like the rocks spins. Um, if you hit the back arrow, it uh, it takes you out of a spin. It's a control system autopilot that takes you out of a spin. And when you get to the laser level, you keep the laser on target by holding the uh, the autopilot anti-spin while you fire the laser to keep it on target because it jitters. Um, now, uh, um, there's another... Okay, so here's... Uh, this is a lot like... Sim structure is, uh, is like this. You build uh, vehicles. I'm not doing a very good job. So um, you place masses and springs in sim structure, I call them particles and bonds. Um, it's all the same thing. I, I don't know. I didn't like member. I don't like the word member. Um, okay, well, I'm, I'm making a connector that will break when I press the two key. I, I, and uh, the other one will break when I connect the one key. Now I'm making a thruster that will thrust when I press the two key and a thruster that will thrust when I press the one key, and a thruster that will thrust when I press the three key. So now we start it up. Three. 
Oh, it's kind of fucked up. There's our missile. There's our other missile. And uh, I did my own graphics. I did all this zoom stuff. Um, anyway, it's no GPU so that my uh, missiles can keep going. Anyway, so sim structure is a lot like that, where it's flexible, create your own vehicles. Um, so uh, this is just stupid. Um, this lets you uh, build a bridge uh, on placing a mass. Um, you, you make concrete members and uh, you try for, it's a design contest, you want minimum cost and uh, I think I, you make up your own rule. Um, I think you want it to go for a minute without breaking. Um, so uh, if you make shorter, well anyway we can set it in motion. Uh, basically it's a bridge that falls apart. It doesn't have torque, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, but you can do wires and steel and concrete. They have different properties. The steel is, uh, the wires are, uh, are, um, are uh, in tension so that you can get some, the concrete is good in tension, the steel is good in tension, the concrete is good in compression, the steel is good in tension. I don't know anything about that to be quite honest, so it's completely fictional. Um, here's my rocket. So you have a, you're trying to make a, a rocket to shoot down an airplane. Um, so we're, we're adjusting the feedback coefficients. If you go too stiff, then it's the wrong value. So this would be pretty hard to do properly. I just guess. This is a um, hand-controlled rocket. This is kind of like the Lunar Lander uh, video game when we were a kid. It's impossible. Anyway, uh, so those are uh, the differential equations in uh, Temple OS. Um, so um, this was, uh, you could do um, control systems like this in, in uh, sim structure. Um, but this is more flexible because I have a compiler. In SimStructure I had an interpreter and it wasn't it wasn't free free form. So this uh, you make a derivative you make a derivative routine for the callback to the differential equation engine. You put in uh, I can show you what happens if you uh, change the viscosity of the uh, let's go let's go to Excalibur. Um, So um, I, I told you it's not very, I, space is not supposed to have air, air resistance, but um, it's ridiculously hard to play, the, play this game if you, if you don't have air resistance. So uh, drag, uh, is that it? That doesn't seem like very much air resistance. Oh yeah, look at that thing flies apart. It's aliasing. It's spinning so fast. So anyway, so I didn't want to deal with that. So uh, that's a third, that's a third order drag, I think. Uh, 